first, Pink John. It was this one's been beating the hell out of so I might be doing some welding on it to reinforce the beams and stuff like that. But for now there's one. I'm gonna grab the uh, clear coat, do a quick one on that because clear coat you don't need as much. You already got all this shit. So as you can see it's nothing but pretty it looks like water vapor pretty much from when you're like boiling or something it's nothing but clear coat we're doing it to protect the first coat second coat possibly third coat we don't know if we're doing a third yet so See much video we got here and might end this one yep we're gonna end this one and we'll be back actually I can keep it going and just make two segments with one video and I'll just get it back into place and we'll be good people are already stopping me and asking me if this one's gonna be for sale I told them I don't know yet it's up to uh how much work I put into it and if I like it after or not which I'm already starting to like so if it's for sale it's going to be for a pretty penny because I'm putting I'm putting the stock motor back in the, that seized up motor I'm putting that back in uh, that's going back in the seized up stock motor we're turning it completely apart putting new bearings new Pistons, new wall, new uh, what you call it, uh, gear ratios. The clutch is good for what I can see. I'm questioning that still too, so we have no clue if it's going to be for sale or not. I actually can pretty much guarantee that won't be for sale. I'm underneath the machine right now, getting the bottom of it, so if you're wondering where I went, I'll be right back. I'm underneath where we'll need another coat. I'm also waterproof now, making it pretty much waterproof. There you go. Clear coat's done on it. We're gonna let it sail a while. Like I said here, these are the paints we're using. We're using the uh, green from a uh, 446 pack. That's actually the engine that's in the picture. Or it's a Chevy 350 built up. But that's the green. It actually looks more like that. But that's what it is. Clear coat. You know what it is. It's clear. So we're going to wait for it to dry. People have stopped by and asked, I probably, you probably heard me the first time I said it, but I'm mentioning it again. People are asking me about if it's for sale or not. It might be for sale when I'm done. I am actually going to probably take it under consideration for when it's done. We're going to go to the garage and show you all the parts that were stripped off and will be being rebuilt or redone. I got the motor. In about a good dozen pieces at least. Let's go this way. I don't want to go through that way. I gotta turn the radio off anyway, so. If you can hear the music, it's my dad's music, so. <laughs> you guys can tell it's not mine. Bye bye, radio. Okay. Let's show you the engine pieces. Start off, my clutch, bottom end, transmission, everything right here where it's locked up. That's where I'm going to have the most problem rebuilding. In here, in this bag here, I got 
clutch top end um, pieces, the clutch rings, the piston, all that good stuff. In here I got the uh, side cover for the motor and the bottom end or the top end in there. I'm putting that bag in there actually right now. That's why I was forgetting to do. So that's why I do. Uh, and there's the pile of parts. I'm gonna have to rebuild. I gotta pull this away from the doorway so we can close the door when we need to. But I got more paint. I got another chrome and another one of them greens. But if you saw when I was walking in, I'm still doing the model demo cars, but I'm going to be converting into metal cars. Soon we'll be painting metal cars, folding them with hammers and crap. So this is my last plastic model to throw at the wall, pretty much. I got another motor though, that was going to go into another car, but... This is all here. I folded the front bumper up. I messed the back end 